Brothers and sisters, we're back to another segment of the Tim 8 Radio Show. And tonight I'm your host, Pastor Ackridge, and we are just getting started on tonight, Sunday night broadcast. We want to first thank God for another day. We thank God for what He's done and the word we've heard this morning and the service that we had, two services this morning, but we praise God for both and we just thank God for being in the midst. We thank God for what He was saying to us and the people this morning. We thank you and your family for continuing to listen in on this broadcast. We love you with the love of the Lord, and we just want you to know that we're here praying with you, praying for you, and we want to just say thank you. Thank you for being a part of this TMA Radio Show family. We love you. God bless you. Amen. Let somebody know we're on every Sunday through Thursday, every week. We also tap in uh, to a great friend of mine, uh, Apostle Michael Branch Prayer Line, where he teaches the Word of God. And there's wonderful testimonies time to time of people uh, uh, letting us know how good God is being in their life. And we're just so excited about it. We thank God for my family, my wife, and my, my children. And I thank God for those, amen, people that continue to lift, keep us lifted up in the name of Jesus. And we just thank God, man, we just praise his name. He's worthy to be praised. I mean, we think about all the things that we we, we could have done, uh, uh, the mess we could have uh, stayed in, but because of his grace, uh, because of his mercy and love and do us forever, he saw thought enough about us, amen, to, to take us up out of that situation and to, to start us on the right way. And we love him for it. We love him, amen. We want you to know that uh, we got... Weather coming up shortly and announcements and mu- and much more. So please, please stay tuned and we'll be right back with more shortly. Get your house in order. Oh, Get your house in order. Oh, do it right away. For Let me 
shining at the sun. All right, you weather forecast tonight. Partly cloudy, low of 60 degrees. Monday, partly cloudy, high of 81 with a low of 60. Tuesday, high of 79 with a low of 59. Wednesday, mostly cloudy, high of 74 with a low of 60. Thursday, high of six, 76 degrees with a low of 63. Friday, mostly cloudy, high of 76 with a low of 63. Saturday, high of 74 degrees with a low of 57. And Sunday, mostly clear, high of 71 with a low of 57. And that's your seven-day forecast. Amen, amen. We'll be right back with more shortly.
today's message, whose voice are we listening to? Amen. If you missed today's service, you can go now on the Tim A Radio Show and listen and hear word from God. Enjoy the messages. And if you do have a chance, come on out and worship with us every Sunday, except the fifth Sunday. So first through the fourth, we will have worship service at 11 o'clock. Amen. At 11 o'clock a.m., we will have services. So we want you to be in the place. So you just come on down and enjoy a word with us. Amen. Because God is able to take care of your needs. Amen. And let us hear what God is saying. So today's message, if you miss it, whose voice are we listening to? Uh, so tune in and enjoy a word from the Lord. Uh, 2016 Fall Men's Conference. Men in power to stand. Men in power to stand. So we want you to know that this... Men's Conference, October the 28th through the 30th. Amen. Friday night at 7 o'clock, we, have, we will have Pastor Clinton Wilkins. Saturday night at 7 o'clock, we will have Apostle Michael Branch. Sunday at 11 o'clock, we are having Apostle Corey Branch. You can now pre-register. Email Pastor Accurate 2016 at gmail.com or call 919-727-0918. And the address to the event, 211 South Bigot Boulevard, Lewisburg, North Carolina, 27549. Again, that's 27549, uh, 211 South Bigot Boulevard, Lewisburg, North Carolina, 27549. And also Healing Word Ministries. We'll have service this Sunday at 11 o'clock. Come on out and join us and let us lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 211 South Bigot Boulevard, Lewisburg, North Carolina, 27549, Healing, Healing Word Ministries at 11 o'clock sharp. <laughs> so don't be late because we're going to get out of there. We're going to do what the Lord say and we get out the way. Amen. And every Sunday, the broadcast, the service is broadcast live on the Timmy Radio Show. We've already have Periscope live uh, video feed, but we are waiting for uh, Wi-Fi to get straightened out. So hopefully we can have that coming to you too as well, Periscope Live, every Sunday once we get the uh, Wi-Fi running, up and running. And Tuesday nights, every Tuesday night at 7 o'clock at Healing Word Ministries, Bible study. Amen. So come on out. If you don't have a place to go, you you just want to come out and, and where we can talk and we can pray, uh, come on out 7 o'clock for Bible study every Tuesday night, Healing Word Ministry. We love you with the love of the Lord, and we'll continue this broadcast, and we'll be right back with more shortly.
How awesome is our God? He's awesome, awesome, and awesome. Amen. He's a wonderful, wonderful God, and I'm so happy about it. I love him tonight. I love him in the morning. I love him in the evening, in the noonday, all day, every day, because he wakes us up and starts us on our way. Amen. And it's just wonderful. Hallelujah. God is great. We have we have a great God, y'all. We have a great God that that knows all about our troubles. He knows about our situations here in America. He knows. But what he's calling us as Americans, as people that believe in God, amen, that believe that his son died for us, those believers, we got to understand that he is in charge and he's t he got us doing some work. We got to start doing some work. A minute for something but we got to do some work we got to come together and you and unite we got to come together i've reached out to churches i've reached out reached out over the years but we got to come together and, and so we're going to continue to try to reach out amen that we come together amen as a community amen we got five we got some fifth sundays throughout the year and we ought to pick one fifth Sunday out of the whole entire year that the county come together and have a major service. Hallelujah. And let the move of God come into the house. Hallelujah. And people really be delivered. Because I tell you right now, uh, uh, we, we need this. We need to come together. And men, we need this conference. I, I can't stress it enough that, that, that you going through so much. You and you and take so much in your mind and throughout your day. You, you burden down and don't share it with nobody. You need a release. You need a release in, in the spirit. That you can continue to stand and don't give up when when you, when it gets hard, when the chips get low, and you can still stand, hallelujah. And because we got a network of brothers, a network of pastors that, that don't mind coming together and fellowshipping and, and, and seeing what we need to do to better the community. That's why this is so important because we got some things to do. And and, and as my as my intention is my as my, my goal to go out and give uh, uh flyers to the sheriff department, to the police department, and, and that whoever we are on the law enforcement will come out and that we can we can still uh, uh pray and unite even though the police are on the attack and some some of them are, are not doing upholding their their duty and, and to protect the citizens and and some of them are rogue but 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 not all of them rogue but what but nevertheless nevertheless we need to come together and so don't you, don't you forget you need to tell somebody that that this fall 2016 fall men's conference is in effect we already started we uh i've been doing some work i've been doing a lot of groundwork trying to get the information out got all the preachers together uh, now we got we're gonna do this location the same location where i have services every sunday uh we're gonna go and hopefully we have enough room there uh, uh to fit over 100 people but we're just expecting god to to, to show up and, and to the men that do come, amen, that they, they, whatever they desire, whatever they got going on, that God release it from them and, and that they can stand, amen, and men in power to stand. Because we done laid down too long. We, we, done, we done put our hands behind our back and in our pockets too long. It's time for the men to come back and, and do what God has us to do. Amen. It's, we are the foundation and we of the home and we need to make sure that we get encouraged and and so we just excited about what God is doing. October the 28th, 29th, and 30th, uh, Friday night, 7 o'clock, Pastor Clayton Wilkins. Uh, Saturday night, 7 o'clock, Apostle Michael Branch. Um, Sunday morning at 11 o'clock, Apostle Corey Branch. And, and so we, we did uh, get out to uh, some of the local uh, singing groups. And a lot of them are busy, and we understand. But I'm still hoping and praying that we're going to have a praise and worship team. Or maybe if we don't, we'll have to get a choir a uh, group of brothers to sing uh, Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. But if you are in the listening area and you know someone uh, uh, that sings, amen, under the anointing of God that can come out and, and, and bless the men uh, uh, of God, then come on out to bless the people of God that, that through your song and praise. Uh, so we're looking to have a high time in the Lord. Um, so we want you to know that we're going to be broadcasting. We'll be announcing that on the local uh, radio station as well, WRN, uh, local radio station here in Lewisburg, North Carolina, 27549, on Tuesday at 1 o'clock. And so a uh, brother told me last past Saturday um, that he heard me on the radio, and so we'll never know who's listening. So we want you to know that... Uh, and we want you to know that this is what's going on in the community. And if you want to pre-register, go ahead on the email, PastorAckridge2016 
at gmail.com. That's Pastor Ackridge 2016 all together at gmail.com or call 919-727-0918. And that, uh, the event will be at 211 South Bigger Boulevard, Lewisburg, North Carolina, 27549. Now, if we get to a point where we have uh, over the capacity, uh, we will we, we'll, um, go further and take care of what we need to take care of at another venue. But we are tr- right now, we're going to do it at 211 South Bigger Boulevard, Lewisburg, North Carolina, 27509. Healing Word Ministries, Sunday worship service at 11 o'clock. If you don't have a place to worship, if you want to uh, see what we're about, see what we got going on, then you just simply listen to some of the, the, serv- the services, worship services that's already been um, aired on the on this broadcast. You can go back 24-7 and listen to a word that we've already shared with the people of God. And so every Sunday, the broadcast is live on the TMA Radio Show, uh, Periscope live video will be um up and running hopefully once we get the wi-fi situation uh at that location uh taken care of every tuesday night at seven o'clock is bible study at the healing word ministry so you don't have anything to do for tuesday night we we invite each and every one to come out and let us pray together let us study together and let us just enjoy one another in fellowship in the name of jesus amen we love you with the love of the lord we got one song left for you tonight and oh we want to be in prayer for uh, uh brother uh otis brother otis harris uh had surgery uh, he's not talking. He's only moving one side of his hand. Had a stroke on the same day that I saw him coming down the steps. I was on my way to work, and I looked over and saw the brother, uh, 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 but James Otis walking down the steps slowly. Uh, so then, by the time I got to the end of the road uh, to turn uh, to go to my destination. I saw ambulance coming. Didn't even know. I thought maybe it was a wreck or something like that. But I saw two ambulances. But you know, God is able to heal. So we are sending prayers out to Him and the and the entire family, all the daughters and sons. And we are praying also for uh, Charlie, my uncle Charlie Trader. Uh, amen. Charlie Trader is in the hospital, has pneumonia. And so when our senior citizens get pneumonia, it's very hard for them because they're, they're older and their immune system is not as strong. But we know that we got a God that can heal that immune system, that they can dry up everything. He can dry up. And uh, my uncle uh, Otis Harris that had uh, the stroke, he's able. He's able to take care of them. He's able to get them back to good health. He's able. You just have to trust and believe. And sometimes, yes, we go through some things and we go through some sickness in our bodies, but not let our spirit go down. Hallelujah. So we're praying for all cancer patients. We're going for those that are taking chemo, uh, uh, that God touched them. We're praying for the Collins family. That uh, uh, Mr. Collins was a wonderful man. He, he passed away. And so we we praying for the Collins family and, and the Harris family and the Trader family and every other uh, family out here. The young lady, uh, that 18 years old, that lost her life this uh, weekend uh, in Franklin County. She's 18 years old. We're praying for her and her, we're praying for her family uh, because there's a lot going on. I mean, the, 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 the sickness was going on. All I saw on Facebook th- this past weekend towards Friday and Saturday was people pray, pray for my father, pray for my uncle, pray for, you know, uh, pray for my cousin. It was just a lot of going on, a lot of sickness, uh, a lot of bereavement going on. But we know that God is doing something in the midst of all of this and, and he's able to comfort you. He's able to heal you. So we need to know that you need to know that. Amen. So we got we got one song left for you tonight. And this song uh, is dedicated to all my listeners tonight and those around the country. God bless you. See you on tomorrow night. We, uh, we pray that we get off work early enough to, to tune in to uh, Apostle Branch prayer line for a word. Uh, so just be there. And then we have third Sunday, Our Power with the Word coming up shortly. Actually, next Sunday uh, uh, is the third Sunday. Not uh, not this pattern. I'm sorry. This is the first Sunday. So the third Sunday, we got the Our Power with the Word uh, at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And that's uh, and the Circle of Love Prayer Partners. And so we want you to know that if you uh, have a loved one that can't get online, they can call 218 548 Two eight four eight, and the code is eight one zero five six. Evangelist Linda Ellis, Amen. She's the administrator and uh, creator uh, um, of the 
circle of love prayer partners. So we want you to know that there's people interceding for others, praying intercessory prayers for the other ones, standing in the gap for those that can't pray for themselves or, or have not even attempted to pray uh, or don't even know how to pray. There's people praying for this country, praying for officers, praying for people, praying, praying for the community. So so you need to know that. And so if you don't have uh, have a have a love, if you have a loved one that can't get online, they can call that prayer line and they can listen in on every third Sunday. We have the hour of power with the word. Uh, at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So we love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. And just try to meet us here tomorrow night at 7 o'clock where we can start. Amen. And hear, hear a word. Hallelujah. God bless you. Love you with the love of the Lord again. Thank you for tuning in.